on a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the New England Patriots. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. This running game so important for them, and they know that it helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. On first down, it's Carter. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 12 more yards there and another first down. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. The eight-yard line. On second and goal, Watson, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. David Johnson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Texans take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And the Texans take a 7 nothing lead. Texans 7. Patriots. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Demir Bird returning it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will Demir set up Bird shop at the 23-yard line. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Run, run, run. 
Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. From the 25 on second down, Mariota, and he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. New England. Sammy Watkins. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And now a two-point conversion attempt forthcoming. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And this play is not going to work. He stopped short of the goal line. And this will remain a 7-6 ball game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. 16 yards, a first down. Here's Watson. And incomplete on the deep ball. Will Fuller was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Throwing on third down, Watson into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Terrence Brooks with a pick. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goal. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Marcus Mariota. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And now the Patriots are going to line up to go for two here. 
Mariota to throw it this time. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. And I guess that makes up for the earlier missed two-point try here to get him to 14. Yeah, that aggressiveness it reminds me a lot of when basketball first adopted the three-point shot. And people were starting to realize that three for two was really starting to work for them. In this case now, maybe the two for one is coming into play in the NFL. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Up to make the tackle, J.C. Jackson. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the seven. Yard. Quick throw completed by Watson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And goal to go. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. And yeah, this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. A 26. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On second down now, it's Henry. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. A first down carry for Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. They'll try to throw now, Mariota. 
And his throw is incomplete. Former Buckeye first rounder Gary on Conley there to knock that away. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Third and long here for Mariota. The pass complete. It's Bird. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Demir Bird, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. To the air again, Mariota being chased out left. He'll try and run it. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. It's a gain of 20, and the Patriot first down. From the red zone now, Mariota. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. J.J. Watt that time able to do what he does best, and that sacked the quarterback. Second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. He has just been a load for opposing offenses to account for now. Eight interceptions on the year. I love that number because I always think of center field. You know, when I hear eight because that's the position you write in the scorecard in baseball. And what do good center fielders do? Take away all the alleys, right? They range deep and make a whole lot of great catches. After the interception, here's Watson. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. You don't see this often, a quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horoscope off? Is biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, it's Mariota eluding the pressure right. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Demir Bird. Demir Bird. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Now for the point after. Whoa. He just yanked that one well to the left, and no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 43. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. And it's incomplete. The intended receiver was David Johnson. And it's second down. 
Kyle Duggar there on the coverage. Throwing again. Watson. And now Watson throws another interception. He's picked off at his own 47. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Following the interception here, Mariota. And all oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. From the gun, Mariota. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. A shotgun snap for Watson. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. To throw again on second down. Watson looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Fuller. 22 yards there, a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Brings up second and three at the Patriots. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. You got nothing. Kill, 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 kill. Three, six. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. A two-yard pickup brings up third and one. Watson to throw on third and one. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Incomplete. Out of the end zone. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. He hit his first. This one from 38. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy.
enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show them one thing, hit them with something else. Four yards. First down, Patriots. Mariota now to throw on first down. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. At the we'll pitch to Henry. And taking it across midfield yeah, and inside the 45. He's 11 yards there, first down. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, New England. <laughs> Working out of the gun, Mariota steps away to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. On second down, here's Henry. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. And it's third down. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. And that will be incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Mariota. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Throwing again on second down. Watson completing it to the right side. Johnson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Try the left side. Carter. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. On first down, Watson. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. 
Switch, switch. Hey, alert three, alert three. Motion, motion, pop, pop, pop. They'll run on first down. It's Carter. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll keep it on the ground. Carter, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Brings up third and five. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back to throw, Watson. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that'll bring them back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. The Pats at the line ready to go. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on four. Didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. And it's third down. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Now Mariota. Rolling to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. They run on first down with Henry, but the hole evaporates quickly as he'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Here's Mariota. Throw caught here by Bird. And he gets this to the other side. Side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 20. First down, Patriots. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. He's tackled. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Second and seven. A 
again, it's Henry. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Derek Henry. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Third and short yardage, Mariota. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. Former Buckeye first rounder, Gary on Connolly there to knock that away. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 53. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll make this a seven-point game. Well, from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. It's Carter. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. 36 yards on the play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Watson now to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. On second down. It's Carter. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. DeAndre Carter with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That ties the game at 23 all. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good. And this is going to be intercepted. Nothing here. Picked up yeah. by Justin Reed. And they will score a pick six for the Texans' TD. 
Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be. Just because. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. On first down, Carter. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll keep it on the ground. Carter, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Watson now to throw. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So, barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. And this is incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. J.J. Watt in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. Mariota on the delay to Henry, and he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. Patriots. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one, certainly defensively, Stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to...